The government has announced a new register for domestic abusers. Perpetrators will now have to tell the police when changing your address or opening a bank account with a new partner. Yesterday I spoke to Rachel McLean, the safeguarding minister. Minister, tell me about the domestic abuse register that you're seeking to introduce. What's the timeline? How will it work? So we published a plan today and it includes a huge number of measures to keep victims and survivors safe from domestic abuse because we want to take the onus away from women having to flee that relationship and put the emphasis where it should be on preventing perpetrators from actually abusing and attacking their partners. And that's why we're looking at this register, which will be modelled on what we've already got in the sex offenders register, but it's a much bigger scale. So the task now is to work with the operational partners, to work with the police. Of course, we want to do it as quickly as possible, but we need to get it right as well. How will it work? We will be working very closely with the domestic abuse commissioner, with the police and with others to set out exactly how it will work. But the principle is that if you have harmed, abused a former partner, then there will be an alert system. That, that's basically the principle of it. Exactly that. We want to give women in this country that security and that safeguard to know that if they're getting into a new relationship with somebody, it's not potentially someone that's got a history. And that's why we're also expanding Claire's Law, which you, which you all know has been on the statute book for a while. But we want to strengthen that and provide more protections and get it working faster and in a more convenient way for women. You've also announced that you're going to consider plans to give women, people who are subject to domestic abuse, uh, statutory time off work, like sick leave, considering, but when will that happen? Yeah, so, I mean, you're right to challenge us on that. Of course, I want all this to happen really quickly. We have to work across government with the business department and they will need to take feedback from the people that they work with. Look, they've been very clear that they want to introduce this. Again, it's about getting the details right. And I think it's really important to say that in the plan that we published today, there is a lot of detail, a lot of clear commitments that are already happening and coming into force straight away. And you've highlighted something that we're still working through some of the details on, but there's a lot of protections in the plan and funding, actually £230 million of new ring fence multi-year funding to go to those all important services. And ask Annie. Lots some some people won't know what it is, mm. but I know you want to expand it. Ex explain what it is and where it exists and where you want to extend it to. Yeah, exactly. And this came in in the pandemic because we knew that people were unfortunately suffering from domestic abuse. Uh, people were trapped in their homes and they couldn't get out. So the Ask for Annie scheme um, is where someone can go into a pharmacy and it's a code word. If they ask for Annie, that means that they actually will get help and they'll get signposted to a support service or a place of safety by a trained professional. And we want to expand this. We know the scheme works really well. It's been welcomed by many victims and by the charities. And so we want to see that rolled out in job centres. And I'm working really closely with DWP to expand that as quickly as we can. Many women still die at the hands of partners or former partners of men. Jess Phillips, the, the Labour MP, does something quite powerful, very powerful every year in the House of Commons on International Women's Day, she names the women who have lost their lives at the hands of men. Wouldn't it be great to see that from the government benches, the Home Secretary perhaps? And you're right to highlight the work that Jess does and she's a long-standing campaigner in this area and we agree that too many women are losing their life uh, at the hands of, of men, obviously not all of them are male perpetrators, but many of them are. Um, I don't want to take away from Jess and the work that she's done, but it's important that we come forward with our response from the government benches as to what we are doing to prevent and tackle uh, these types of awful murders. We don't want to see women being murdered. That's why we've, we've introduced a plan today to strengthen the response and increase measures such as tagging uh, which often are, are able to protect women from dangerous perpetrators.